One of the true gems of the island is Hilton Head High School Principal Amanda O'Nan, who joins us as we wrap up a semester just about and, and get ready to go into 2019. Amanda, welcome back to the show. Um, the state report cards have just come out, and I know educators in general hate report cards from a, a government body. Uh, you guys missed out by a couple of points of getting what would have amounted to an A. Uh, you got a really, really high B, or we can call it a low A, I guess, uh, from the state. Tell us what kind of criteria th they looked at, uh, where you guys did well, and, and where you guys didn't do so well. Right. Well, actually, the state has come up with an accountability system yeah. that um, as a competitive person, you sort of thirst and crave to get to that top notch. So for me, because we've been absent of that for a couple of years, it's nice to see that the bar has been set, the expectations clear, and we need to strive to exceed their expectations. So actually, I um, crave the opportunity to master our state report card and to be able to let the public see what a great facility and educational system we have. But essentially for the high school, a public mm -hmm. high school, they evaluate you on graduation rate, which of course we blew out of the water. Mm -hmm. Our EOC scores, which is our end of course exams that are given to us from the state in Algebra 1, English 1, Biology, and U.S. History. And then they're going to grade you on how well you move your second language learners for us, our Spanish-speaking students, from a struggling standpoint of mastering the English language to really a proficient level. They also evaluate you on surveys regarding um, feedback from your students and your parents. And they take all of that and look at it and give you a score. And we were just a couple of points shy of being considered A or an excellent school. Um, and for us, our deficiencies were in our EOC scores, um, specifically with um, our students who struggle academically. And clearly, um, we obviously have some growth to do in some of those subject areas. So for us, uh, that's the part where we need to focus and, and evaluate and hold up a mirror and see where we can find our most or best improvements. You think it's a fair test? I mean, is the grade is are they grading you on on, on fair things to be evaluating the, the school? Right. Part? I'm not really ever one to say it's not fair. <laughs> like in other words, the bar's been set. It right. is what it is. It is you go it after is. it. They yeah. can test us on all kinds of things. And my job is to funnel our energy so that we grow the whole child, but at the same time show off the academic skills that we are ingrained to do. So absolutely it's fair. It's, it's actually sort of exciting. Okay. The middle school did not do well at all. Uh, the elementary school was kind of in the middle average. Is there any opportunity and will there be going forward now that there seems to be some stability in the leadership at, at the four uh, schools on the island? Uh, to get everybody together and to maybe kind of set some parameters that have everybody working on the same page because it would appear that, that maybe that's not happening? Right. I've always had people like in college say yeah. that when their children aren't ready at the college level, it's the high school's fault. And when the high school teachers look at their ninth grade data, they always say it's the middle school's fault. And the mm -hmm. middle school says it's the elementary and the elementary says kindergarten and kindergarten said it's the parents' fault. For me, it is what it is. We've got kids in ninth through 12th grade. They come to us where they are, and our job is to slingshot them to do the best that they can. So, But what's exciting is, is that our middle school has struggled, clearly, based on their report card. Mm -hmm. um, and with new administration, um, I'm excited about working hand-in-hand -hand with Pat Freda, the principal there. And I know that the elementary principals are excited to have her on board as well. And we've actually worked really well this year as a team, but we all know to turn a school around it doesn't happen overnight so it's going to take Miss Freda some time and I'm excited about that because we'll just reap the benefits at the high school. That's fantastic. Uh, one other quick uh, reminder for you parents of high school kids as we go through the holidays uh, you got to get the kids going on uh, what a little bit earlier or later? A little bit earlier year. you need to be in first block ready to roll by 8 30 in the morning. All right good news is they get out early. Right. If that's good news. <laughs> Amanda, thanks so much for joining us. Have a terrific holiday. And uh, again, we appreciate all you do at Hilton Head High. Thank you. Amanda Onan, the principal at Hilton Head High School. Coming up next, the guy who's kind of the principal of Hilton Head Island. I wonder if he'd think it uh, that way. Steve Riley, the town manager, joins us next.